Hello everybody and welcome back to our Renegade playthrough of Mass Effect 2. I was going to speak to some people. I'm going to speak to Jack again. Now even though it is a Renegade playthrough, there are some things which we aren't going to be doing just because I want to keep his friendship with some hey. of them. We need to discuss our relationship. I said. You know what it's like. Pretty much. Okay. You don't have to agree so fast. That's absolutely fine. We'll go and do a mission. I'm not sure which one I'm actually even going to do at this point. Got a lot of scanning to do. A lot of missions to do. Could go and help some Mara, I think. First of all, I need to get up to the captain's cabin. Feed fish. There we go. Fish fed. Well, I'm not going to go back to the citadel for a bit. I'm not sure what quest I'm going to do next, though. We've got everybody. Now it's just time to do a loyalty quest, isn't it? Well, let's speak to you. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, ma'am. I think. Off we go. Let us see. There's no quests on helium. I just do some planet scanning for a bit. Nothing much really, it's just getting resources, isn't it, with this? Leave this. Is there any history on these planets? So look at Ilium. Yeah, Ilium is a classic garden world developed to serve as entropop between the Terminus systems and the Asari republics. To about this trade, the normally st stringent custom laws of Council Space on Project Safety, prescribed materials and sapient trafficking are relaxed. Officially, Ilium is not an Asari world, it is colonised and operated by Asari corporate interest. This gives it the same legal latitude enjoyed by the human corporate research enclaves of an avaria. Okay, so it's like a scientist world, but more like business. Helium is one of the youngest Asari colonies settled during the seventh expansion wave. The first child born in the world is only now reaching a middle age. The world is hot and massive. Ground settlement is only possible at the higher polar latitudes. In more equatorial locations, the population is housed in archaeology skyscrapers to escape the heat of the service. Cool. Another planet over here. Well, not a classical hothouse world like Venus, Beragalay is scarcely more hospitable in addition to being closest to the star tassel. Its core contains more radioactivities and other heavy elements. These increase the heat of the planet and drive volcanism. So there's lots of volcanoes on this planet. But a girl's crust is too rigid for plate tectonics to function and the planet will go through cycles in which the pressure builds to a massive super volcanic eruption. And you can't have life there then. They spew ejector over thousands of kilometres, leave colder around 100 kilometres across and spew enough molten material to repave entire continents. The last such event was, oh okay, quite far away, 812,000 years ago. The current state of outgassing from volcanic hotspots suggests another will occur within the next 10 millennia. Oh okay. So it's not really a safe planet to do anything on. You could just put some mine in there, maybe. Send some robots to mine. It's probably too hot, though, for anything else. Let's get some more of these. Probe launched. Need another planet. 
fairly typical Venetian hothouse, Ponellus seems almost time compared to the violent volcanic outburst of the inner world, Beragile. In contrast, Ponellus is nearly inert, with no active volcanoes or plate tectonics. The most dramatic event in the last million years was the foundering of the Asari Aerostat research platform. A Vostis in 2092, which fell after being hauled by an improbably unlucky meteor. Most of the crew successfully reached escape capsules, but six were lost. The wreck of the platform now lies on the Crispia Plain in the Southern Hemisphere. As they've tried to settle a few planets, and obviously they've failed. At least they tried, though. Eighty percent. We'll get hundred percent and then we'll move on. Next up is an ammonium methane ice giant. Several smaller energy corporations shut out of the big market in the Fire Gateway system are attempting to develop a local helium free fuel mining infrastructure to service helium. Very good idea if they could do it. The leading investor is the human corporation Edville Ashland Energy. Their efforts have been hampered by the extra gel pressure H3 cartels in phase system can bring to bear. From simple price undercuts to bureaucratic obstructions, denied permits and constant health and safety inspections. So if they can get over that, all those hurdles, they should be able to do something on this planet. It'd be tough though. You'd think that the Sari would help, knowing that they could actually... Oh, you can have for this snap headshot. You'd think that actually help, knowing that it would actually benefit them in the long run. 100% in this area. Mass really. I'm going to move on from this system, because there's nothing else in here. We've got Firewalker, Helium, Shadow Broker Base. I could go and speak to her in a bit. Help Tali, help Samara, explore normally crash site, acquire Reaper, IFF, no. Investigate Project Overlord. I'm not going to do that yet. Help Fane. Help Grunt or Mordin. You know what? Let's go to Chuchunka. Help Grunt and Mordin. Let's have a look on Chuchunka. Into orbit. Scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, choking ash, salt flats and alkaline seas, Chachanka can barely support life. Thousands of years ago, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star, Arakla. Uh, Aralak, a right clan word meaning Eye of Wrath. Tree analogues grew in thick jungles, their roots growing out of shallow, silty tea seas. Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible. This world died in nuclear firestorms after the Krogan split... Atom, oh god, of course they did. A little ice age of nuclear winter killed off much of the remaining part plant life. In recent centuries, I thought they were gifted a nuclear weapon. I thought, like, the Solarians gave them. I didn't realise they actually split the atom themselves. Crazy. And the first thing they do is, oh, let's just blow each other up. In recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their homeworld. The reduced albedo has caused global temperatures to rise in order to maintain livable temperatures. A vast shroud was assembled at the L1 Lagrange point. It is made by the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, CDEM, which is based on orbiting battle stations. CDEM advisory visitors to Tshanka land at their own risk. The CDEM will not attempt to extract citizens threatened by clan warfare. Travel advisory. The ecology of Tachanka is deadly. Nearly every native species engages in some predatory behaviour. Even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. Travel beyond guarded areas is strongly discouraged. And we're going to land. Who are we going to take with us? Well, it's both of Mordin and Grunt's missions, so we might as well just keep them. Oh, cycle her appearance. Take Tally with us. I'm taking. So we do Grunts first or Mordens. Take you and we'll take Tally or Garrus. I kind of want to take Garrus and Tally for now. Just to go and meet Grunt. Now go and meet Rex. 
and we can come back for grunt so I'm thinking let's stick and see Rex you know what let's do it yeah we'll come back for Mordin and oh you know what no 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 I'll do it. yeah everything's fine it's fine I don't need to mess with anything yet because I'm, I'm not going to use those two characters anyway it's fine and I'm already got weapons that I need now grunt and Mordin will fetch in a minute those people on here either. Watch it, human. Yeah, we could take these two just to see if he actually talks to him. I want to see if Rex acknowledges them both. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Talk to him soon, alien. If we decide you're not welcome, you'll know just before we kill you. Bring it. We're not scared of you. Take your business to the clan leader. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Torians who's boss. Damn right. Tear the scales off for the Pikachu speed. Earth not clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader. Oh, it's gonna be that cut off. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepherd. Good enough. Excuse me. <laughs> How do I... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Why? Speak when spoken to, Ulvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? It's not important. We're here. That's enough. Well, we've both been busy. Takes me back to the old days, though. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. 
Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs, rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared, worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. What did the women of Clan Earth not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. That's actually quite clever. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. See, why haven't we got... He's not even interacted with Garrus or Tally. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. Okay, what will you... Oh, oh, we'll talk to him. I am nothing to say to aliens. Alright then. Shepard, what can I do for you, my friend? What will he say if we ask him about Grunt when Grunt's not with us? I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Place me, huh? Well, I can't tell what's wrong if I can't see him. Bring him next time. The off-world Varen probably caught something weak and human. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll... I need we'll to bring go. him back. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. I'm disappointed that they didn't speak to Tally and Garrus. Really, it's quite sad. I'm going to come back with Grunt and Mordin. Oh, Glatting News. I've had enough of you. Then let's. A source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible terrorist attack by oh, we knew that would happen. Oh, speak to the shaman while we're, while we're here. Oh, yeah, he's not going to talk to us yet, okay. Okay, right, let us come back here soon. Got other things to do anyway. I'm actually really tempted to change my armor as well. Although I don't, I like this armor, I'm going to change it. Alright, let's head back to the Normandy, get Grunt, Maud in, and change my armor. Yeah, I tried it, failed, okay. Now you guys know if you ever do play this or want to try this, there's no point, he doesn't interact with them. I'm going to make my shepherd renegade obviously, but more smart, not just the stupid decisions. That's why I wanted to do, that's why I put that poll up on the channel. I'm going to keep it a bit longer because I'm not doing the decision yet. That's why I wanted you guys to decide should I cure the genophage. It's such a huge thing. Inferno armor. Okay. Inferno armor has a VI dedicated to recognize signs of stress and medical trauma. Okay. Negotiation plus 10 bonus, tech and bartic damage 10, storm speed 5, Cerberus, that ain't too bad, that's what we was using before wasn't it, ok, 
kestrel visor. I like the helmet really on that one. Kestrel. Kestrel's quite cool actually, I like Kestrel. What's the Kestrel helmet? Kestrel helmet, that ain't too bad. Headshot damage, weapon damage, shield. I don't mind that, that looks pretty sick. Let's apply that for now. I actually don't mind that for now. Okay. We'll use that for now. I might change it again at some point. We'll try them all out. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's get back to Tachanka. We have our two other allies. Oh, let me go and get some upgrades. Because we've got some, have me. We might as well get them now. Do 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 do. Weapon upgrades, accuracy, damage, armor upgrades, medijo capacity. Yes. Uh, damage protection, yes. Tech damage, yes. Biotic damage, fantastic. Submachine gun damage, which is well, all of them, yeah, get all of them. Sniper damage. Can't get them yet. Prototypes is fine. We've already done that one, I know what exactly one, what I wanted. Right, let's go with these. We're not going to complete them both in today's. I did think there was. I don't think we've got enough time to complete both, but I think we should definitely complete at least one of them. I'm hoping anyway. Let's do. I think we'll do grunts first. You and let's take your original outfit for now. Because I'm going to keep his weapon. Cryo Blast Incinerate. Let's do Cryo Blast. Full. This cryo weapon effect is engineered to make a chance of freezing multiple. I do deep. And then I do incinerate. You've already got concussive blast, incendiary ammo, that'll do. Weapons. Obviously I'm gonna keep the ones I've got. So indicator, all that. Yeah, we'll keep the collector weapon. I'll actually like that. Switch the locust. Keep that. Collector, missile, grenade, arc projector, we'll use that. Grunt. Give you Vindicator. We'll give you the claymore. Mordin. Give you the locust and I'll give you a heavy pistol. There we go. Bit of variety. Annoying everybody. Take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Just let me by. I have business to take care of. You don't mess with us. Oh, 
Oh, don't worry. You'll get to fight something very worthy very soon. Both, I don't care. Fact. Let's get around here. I keep speaking to if I keep petting this. Pet it. Good very. Good very. Keep petting it. Good very. Good very. Make it, my friend. Good very. Stay. <coughs> Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are inert now. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. I'll try to act tough and tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rin call hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. <laughs> Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population. You get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. Let me have a look first. What we got? Death mask. Oh, I'm getting that. I'll equip that now. Pet him. Good Varen. Can I feed it? Good Varen. Good Varen. Where do I get the food from now? Stay. I can get the food from someone, can't I? Death mask. I am gonna put that on in a bit as soon as I can. This is the great Krogan home. This is the land of Kredok. Shiaga and Viola. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Oh dear. Right, let me see if I can get the food. From this one, I think. Alright. I think, I, I think there's another shop I can get food from, I think. Krogan's hit by Genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still survive. Yeah, no thanks to you, or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt, continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Could be nice to see these two keep interacting, Fort Nax. Hmm. Punch. Punch him. Wonder where I got the food from. Oh, now I've got to kill the pie jacks, haven't I? Okay, we're going to kill the pie jacks. I'll talk to the mechanic in a bit. I'll speak to the chief scout in a bit. Let me go and speak to Rex first. And then we'll go and get that discount. Shepard. What can I do for you, my friend? I'm looking for a Solari. He was captured by the blood pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you 
from, Whelp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? Vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. I don't think I like this mask as much. He looks too much like Brobo Cup. You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdna? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Yeah, we did. Clan Erdna is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank, did he, boy? We didn't come all this way for nothing. Yes, my blood demands this. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? Many times? Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. Could you imagine your crew if you could have your old team as well? God, you'd be so, you'd be way overpowered. You'd just destroy everybody. No one would have a chance. Let's go into this for these renegade. Good. I'm not scared of you all. You very not kill both of you. Let's see what the human could do. Yeah, let's do this first. Shoot the pie jacks. One. Hey. Stupid pie jacks. Blowing them to bits. One left. I forgot how many waves there are. They should set mines as well and stop them. Maybe invest in automatic turrets as well, rather than just man-made, uh, man-used turrets. Here's some automatic ones, you ain't got to this.
two in one. charge of Erdnot scouts? Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan of Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Thanks for the information. Whatever. What do you want, human? You're crowding my home. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Werelock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. The chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. Okay, Thanks we'll come back. Information. Anything that gets rid of the damn off-worlders. You can take the truck over there. Okay, Anything we'll do that in a bit. Else? No. Talk to you later. Right, I've done that. Now I can go and speak to the one over here, because we've done the, we've done the mission for him. And he should give us a discount on the other stuff. Finally found someone to fall for. Seeing those vermin roasting the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. I didn't do that for my health. Let's talk payment. You have a lot of skill with those cannons. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. Okay. I should go. Suit yourself. Pijack mate. I want that. That. This is coming in handy. Defense layer. Shield harness. Heavy pistol. Oh, you know I'm getting them all. Beautiful. Right, let's feed you. Here, try this. Oh, got a friend now. <laughs> Looks like Gers finally found someone to follow around. Lovely. Oh, we got a friend. Let's go and help Grunt. Hey, we'll help Grunt first. You go beyond yourself, Bank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a love of plastic. <laughs> Say no blood, no matter the room. The barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Ubank. I'm not fighting over this nonsense. Grunt's ready. Let's get to it. I like your dismissal of our rituals even less than Ubank's challenges. And my word determines whether a right will proceed. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Krantz stands against him. 
He has no one. Hmm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your craft? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf. How is a candidate tested if he brings back up on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior, but each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. Grunt will strengthen Clan Erdnot. Name our target, and it will die. Spoken well. Most aliens, and some Krogan, do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true Krogan. Everything about Grunt is alive. <laughs> you. You dare. <laughs> I like this human. He understands. I withdraw my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. Do we need any special equipment? To begin the right, only the candidate and his craft are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested, and that you must adapt. We'll return when we're ready. When the young Krogan is prepared, bloodshed in the right must not be rushed. Right. I've got 15 minutes. I don't think that's a long enough for me to be able to do it, so... <laughs> it's just following us. I'm going to finish this one here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back and get... Uh, new helmet on. I am going to take these two. We'll do, and we'll equip them with the new weapons as well. And in the next video, we'll do this rite of passage, and we'll do Mordin's mission as well. We should be able to do both in the, in the one video. I'm guessing. But we might as well go back and change a couple of things because there's no place for us to change them here. Oh my God! No! 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 No, it's alright. I was going to say, there are some things here we can buy from that shop, but it's fine. Right, go back to Normandy. And head back again, and then come back again. cabin change our mask there we go death mask perfect that looks brilliant Okay, that's what I'm keeping. The rest of it I'll keep. Death mask it is. Now, I'm going to head back to Tachanka. We'll finish on... We'll finish this video actually landing on Tachanka just to, so that we actually come back. We ain't going to mess with the equipment. So I'm going to pick them both up. Why is it sent me all over there again? It's weird. Oh, like obviously we're gonna do all these planet scanning as well maybe not in the next one the one after it possibly because we got two missions in the next video so that's gonna take up that time maybe the video after we'll do some planet scanning read some law maybe do some codex I'm not sure 
Uh, I've got to do once we've got our very last companion, which will be Legion, which will probably be after we've done the main quest, because I'm still gonna have the DLC after it, aren't I? We'll do. Okay. Phalanx. Yeah, I'm gonna switch them both to that actually. Grunt. Keep that. You're gonna keep that shotgun. You're gonna stick to the phalanx. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the phalanx as well. And fairy phalanx is a product for lines. It's offensive handgun. Okay, yeah, we'll use that one. That's not. That's not too bad. It looks quite a good weapon. Actually, we've got a few people we can talk to before we finish this video. Just so I haven't got to do it in the next one. Captain, don't need to speak to you. I've got to go all the way through there, haven't I? Did you get the pie, Jack? Okay, we already got those weapons, already spoke to them. There's a fight thing there, I'm not going to watch any fights because I don't want to risk killing ours. Oh, I've got a mechanic, yeah, speak to the mechanic. Let me click, I have time to talk. I've got work to do. If those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold, they say it got shot up in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. I'm going out into the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Okay. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Don't do any favors. Whatever. I want to help you anyway, mate. Whether you're in the mood for it or not. Speak to this guy. I am Forta, Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdot. And I don't have time to answer your inane questions. Now how many humans does the clan leader allow to walk freely among the Erdnot? Not very many. It begs the question of why you are here. I earned the right to walk among you. Want to see how I did it? Oh, very well. But if you get in the way of my research, I will see you ejected. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew it was true. Oh, okay then. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah, what else can the Salarians do to us at this point? Sound like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. It sounds like the new clan leader has some very different ideas on how to lead the Krogan. If you want to know more, talk to him directly. He's my leader. I'll not say anything else about him. Okay. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Taking all this with us. We can use this. Heavy pistol damage. I uh, need more for this, okay. More credits for biotic and shotgun damage. 
Not bad at all. Right, now that I've got everything I wanted to get here, I can finish this video. Not entirely... I'm not happy... I'm happy, but not fully. I didn't get to do exactly what I wanted to do. But, in the next video, we will hopefully be able to do both of their missions, which is kind of the aim of what this video was meant to be. But we've explored to Janka, don't need to do any more. We can just do it just to their missions. So, that will be done in the next video. So guys, thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care.